Stoker and I'm a, an advisor for Citizens Advice. We try to help people who come in um, to the Bureau on a daily basis with their questions and that can be support with things like making applications for benefits or helping with general queries that they may have. We also deal with queries over the telephone with our advice line and no two days are the same really, you never know what's going to come through the door. Um, people come in with all sorts of different queries and things they need help with, often in quite a, a desperate state really, and they really need your help to, to try and make things a little bit easier for them. It can really be um, people from all, all walks of life really. Um, majority of people who come in are either in a vulnerable situation, either through something that's happened in their life, a misfortune, maybe a death or the illness of a close family or friends or people um, who don't have the access to the information that they would, or the skills that they need to, to access that information um, and they're looking for somebody who can help them. A lot of the forms they have to fill out for um, things such as the Department of Work and Pensions can be very complex uh, and you know it's something they need help with making an application. We've seen people from 18 and 19 years old through to, I think the oldest person I saw was 101 and she walked in by herself, she said she walks into town every day um, and she came in for some information. So it really is any age. Well, after I finished working, I wanted to, to do something. Uh, I had used the service before myself and found it very useful, so it was my first port of call. I thought it's something my skills might, from work might be transferable to. So um, I looked to see what's available and I could see they were looking for volunteers. I think it's the fact that you go home at the end of the day and think even in just a small way you might have helped somebody and made their, you know, their life a little bit easier. We meet lots of people who are in a very difficult situation and you, you know, if you go home thinking that you've helped them even just a little bit, it's very satisfying. You can commit as, as much time as you like, there's, um, obviously there's a small commitment to a certain number of hours but it isn't very much, um, so you can do as much or as little as you want really. So. You don't have to feel that it's something you're having to commit full time to. It's given me a purpose, again, after working for many years um, and going through the lockdown, I needed something in my life to really um, feel useful. Uh, and I'm able to use the skills that I, I developed in my working life to put to good use within the volunteering role. Um, and it gets me out of the house, obviously, and it also gets me to meet lots of people, both with my colleagues. I've got a very good team of, of colleagues that we work with. Uh, and you meet different people um, every day and that's probably the most satisfying thing is that you do get to uh, meet lots of people 